Creating a wildlife patch is one of the easiest things you can do in your garden and it actually means less work for us. It's about giving the lawnmower a bit of a rest for a while. And if we can leave areas, either strips along the verges or larger patches and reduce mowing to every six weeks or even annually, it'll give an opportunity for wildflowers to flourish. So here we can see the dandelions and they're really important because they're an early food source, an early spring for butterflies, for bees. And you can see just a simple measure of leaving this patch unmown allows dandelions to grow up and creates a valuable food source for pollinators. And even small steps can make a big difference. And you can see this area of the garden hasn't been mown, hasn't been fertilized, and it looks so much different to the main lawn. And you can see the cowslips growing up. But when you do mow, it's important to remove the clippings because wildflowers flourish better in infertile soil where they have an opportunity to compete with the grasses. You don't need to plant wildflower seeds. You can leave areas unmown and wildflowers will naturally colonize and flourish. But if you are planting flowers and plants and shrubs, then it's best to think native and also think about what's good for the pollinators. And you can check out the All Ireland Pollinator Plan, which has loads of information to tell you which species are best for your garden and also to try and achieve flowering right throughout from spring to autumn. So here we can see the benefits of planting for pollinators and this rosemary is just a hive of activity with bees coming and going. So here there's a variety of herbs and flowers that not only smell great but they're a really important food source for our pollinators. Gardening for biodiversity is all about creating mini habitats in your garden and trying to replicate natural ecosystems, many of which have been lost. And a wildlife lawn or wildflower patch is replicating a natural meadow. And the greater the diversity of mini habitats that you can create in your garden, then the greater diversity of wildlife that your garden will support and that you'll attract to come and live in your garden.